Hi everyone. I'm so happy um, to make this new video. I hope you're all doing well and so great. I hope your families and friends are all safe. Um, so I'm making this uh, short video just to... Um, I was praying this morning and then I realized like um, how big or how deep the grace of God is like I thought about how many times I fail how many times I I sin how many mistakes I do and there's so many times I wanted to give up but the grace of God always brought me up like I was thinking like you know sometimes you look at ourselves and at all our um, all our uh, weaknesses and mistakes and the way we're so limited and you know walking with the perfect God can seem like so impossible to us uh, sometimes you sin so much sometimes you make so many mistakes sometimes you're so disappointed that you reach a point where you feel like you know what God I feel like bye <laughs> I can't make it because you feel like you really can't like reach that level of it of intimacy with God so it happened to me so many times where I felt like, you know, God is just tired of me because of the many sins I commit, the many shortcomings, the many mistakes I do. And when I think back of the all the times that I felt like I'm giving up and the fact that I'm still standing here and serving the Lord and praying and growing up, I realized that this is not my strength. Because if it was me... <laughs> If it was me, I think I would have given up the first day because it's really not easy. The oppression is real, the persecution, the challenges, everything. And you know, like the flesh, sometimes you just feel like you just want to do your thing. And then the guilt, the condemnation, all those things are really not easy. But when I look back and I think about all these times where I wanted to give up and I'm still standing here, still serving God, still praying, still growing, still seeking His face. I wonder, but what happened? But the only answer to this and to your situation, if you ever went through like these tough times where you felt like, you know, I can't go on with God anymore. The only response or the only, uh, like, the only reason we're still standing is the grace of God. And today I just, I was praying and I thought, I was like, God, but your grace is so amazing, you know. I mean, the, how many times do we fail and think that you're going to condemn us and, you know, kick us out. But you keep, you remain, you remain the same, you stay with us. And it feels so normal, you know. The Bible tells us that God, when God forgives us, he, forgi he forgets our sins. Like, And I can say it's so true because I can't count the times I failed God. But when I, when I look at how we, I keep walking with him, how God is still faithful, I'm like, but did I ever sin? You know, it feels like you never sin because when God forgives, he forgets. And we as human beings, sometimes we don't, we don't, we don't get to that level of actually moving on and saying, oh, God forgave me. And so it's over. So let's start again and, you know, make... Uh, more efforts or do better next time you know sometimes you live in the past and you just feel like you know I failed yesterday so maybe tomorrow that's how it will go I'm not sure about today you know I don't know what's waiting for me I'm not sure yesterday I didn't make it I don't know if God still wants me you know there's so many thoughts we have and sometimes we, we tend to live in the past but when you get to the knowledge of the God that we serve and you actually realize that God is so gracious and he actually forgets i'm like no the grace of god is just special today um i don't know where you are i don't know what situation you're facing i don't know what struggle you're struggling with but i want to um encourage you to just you know take a break take this moment to just say god <laughs> even though i mess up even though I try to please you with my wax, even though I try to, to, to do things in my own way, even though I try to impress you, even though this, even though that. I take this time to just recognize that 
yo, it's your grace that brought me after here, right? It's only God's grace that kept us alive to this time. Like, when I really think about my own life, I'm like, God, <laughs> it's really your grace, but let's recognize this, you know? It's only grace that will get us to actually see God because it is through grace that we were saved. It is through grace that we are forgiven, you know? The Bible says that the grace of God is sufficient to us. You know, that we should boldly approach the throne of God for obtaining mercy, for obtaining grace, because really, there are so many challenges. There are so many challenges, and life can get messy sometimes, but I just felt like, okay, we may mess up some, so many times, we may forget about God's grace, we may like, you know, get so distracted about so many things and lose everything and stress up and start panicking, but this opportunity, you know, let's just take this moment to say, God, even though I run up and down all the time, even though I try to make it on my, in my own way, I recognize that it's your grace that kept me alive to this day. Like, I don't know how to say this, but God's grace is really deep. And I believe that this confession, I believe that this record, recognizing that it's only God's grace that got us here, I believe that just saying, God, it's you, I recognize it's you, even though I'm running, even though I still feel condemned, even though I still feel the guilt inside, I know it's your grace. I believe that just this confession can change our lives. I believe it can change our lives. Sometimes the devil just plays too much with us and he makes us forget that the God we serve is actually a God of mercy and truth and of grace actually but i believe this confession can change our lives let's just take this few minutes to just say god we admit it is your grace that brought us up to here so uh i'm just gonna sing this song it's a song of called out music i really feel like it's a song that I really like relates to what to the grace of god and to it's a kind of thanksgiving song to God and say, God, thank you for your grace. I mess up so many times, but hey, yeah, it's your grace. I admit, I say yes, it's your grace, even though I do nonsense, but it's your grace. So it is the grace of God that held you up to here. I don't know if you received Christ in your life, but I believe that singing this song and recognizing that uh, in the midst of all the mistakes, of all the sins that she ever committed in life, the grace of God kept you alive to this day so that your life can change. So if you're willing to receive Christ in your heart, please open up because there is no price to pay. There is nothing to be done. It's really the grace of God. And uh, yeah, I hope this song blesses us all. And uh, a little apology, my guitar is not doing very well. One of the chords is just um, got broken. So if it sounds bad, um, <laughs> apologies. But let's take this moment just before God and say, God, we recognize it's you. We recognize it's you. I don't know, wherever you are, you can lift your arms, you can kneel down, you can close your eyes and just say, God, I say, I, I, I admit this, I admit it's only your grace. So um, I pray that God may touch your heart, wherever you are, whatever situation you're struggling with. If you feel condemnation, if you feel guilty, if you feel anything, let God know about this, but also know that his grace is available. You might not understand. You might not even believe it to the highest, you know, but Let's just confess the truth because it's the truth that sets free. So I'm gonna sing this song and I pray that we all be touched. Sing it with me. I don't know if you know the song, but it's easy. Um, yeah, it's called Grace by Cold Out Music. And uh, yeah, may God bless us all in Jesus' name. <laughs>
you all. I love you. Bye.